Hey, hey, wrestling fans. Welcome to Season 2 of the Pure Pro Wrestling Power Half Hour. I am your host, Xavier Justice, along with Matt Burns and the immortal one, Father Time. Okay, we're going to start things off this week with an eight-man tag match starring eight of the biggest names here in Pure Pro Wrestling. You said that right. Eight of the toughest, roughest Pure Pro Wrestling athletes that you can imagine. Well, starting off, we've got Father Time and his team of Xavier Justice, Mikey Miller, and Hades. And they have got a task at hand tonight. They're going to step into the ring against the team of the Michigan State heavyweight champion, Sebastian Rose. Blue Steel, the most decorated tag team in PBW history, and the newcomer, Vincent Crawley. And, of course, he is always followed by the lovely Sophia Black. And I don't know if you noticed there, but, you know, Sophia Black is Vincent Crowley's manager. However, Sebastian Rose just gave her the Michigan State Championship to hold on to. Well, sometimes I think Sebastian Rose just like the women to look at the best part of that he has on his body. Well, and right now that is the Michigan State Heavyweight Championship. And it is. It's interesting to see because we've noticed that Rose and Sophia Black, they have been taking a, a liking to each other, much to the dismay of Vincent Crawley. That's right. I'm just wondering right now if that's going to cause some type of a problem between Vincent Crawley and Sebastian Rhodes. Well, let's tell them a little bit here tonight about some of the stars in the ring. Of course, Father Time, no stranger to the ring. He is a survivor of three strokes. He beat cancer, and he's the only legally blind professional wrestler in the world today. And, of course, Matt, we don't have to uh, tell them about Sebastian Rose, but go ahead and tell them anyway. Sebastian Rose is the first ever Pure Pro Wrestling, Michigan State Heavyweight Champion. He won in a four-way match at Retro Slam for unifying the franchise championship and the television championship to make that one title. And on that night, he beat three other men. Wait a minute, we're getting right into the action. The big deal's up off the ground. He's not liking this. Huge atomic drop. That's right. That's no fun for anybody, but I don't think Father Time's done. No, I'm not. Just watch this one here. I want to see him cry a little bit. That's oh. going to hurt his weekend plans, I'll tell you that much, lady. Dropped on the lower extremities, Father Time's fired up, and the fans here at Graham Link Academy couldn't be more excited. Oh, boy. The big deal's up and down. <laughs> Huge body slam, crashing the big deal to the center of the mat. Now Father Time off the ropes. Oh, no, what a wise move. Big deal gets out of the ring. You know, sometimes, you know, I, I used to wonder if Big Deal was fast, but I'm finding out just how fast he is when he's crawling. Now, Father Time in there. Looks like he's going to be making the tag. Sebastian Rose comes in for his team. Hades now in. Now, Hades, he has uh, been in Pure Four Wrestling for quite a long time. Well, tell us more about him. Well, Hades is a 15-year veteran of the professional wrestling scene. He's been all up and down the road. He's a former tag team champion, but that heavyweight gold has eluded him his entire career. Now, if you want to learn more about Hades or any of the other wrestlers, uh, you can do exactly what it's telling you to do on screen and saying, check out our website at prowrestlingatitsfinest.com for all the information you need. Dazzling Dominic starting it off, burying uh, Hades to the center of the mat there. He's got him on the ropes. He's about to whip him off. What's going to happen next? There's the Irish whip. Oh, Hades able to duck under. Hades up. Oh. Rana. Oh, my goodness. I tell you, he's, he's got him tied up there. He's got to count one. Oh, and there's the big deal in, saving his tag team partner, another wise move by Blue Steel. You know, that's going to be really important, uh, having that partner, that chemistry. Blue Steel has it on the far team, and of course, Xavier Justice and Hades have it on the near team. Well, you know, the, you know, the Blue Steel, the, the only uh, male models here in Pure Pro Wrestling, they, they work together not only in the ring, but outside too. You're right, uh, the runways of New York City, Paris, and beyond. Blue Steel, uh, outside of the ring, they are professional models. Inside of the ring, they are one heck of a tag team. But right now, we're looking at Xavier Justice and Sebastian Rose. Oh, Rose ducks under. Well, you see, this is kind of a smart strategy. Right now, Rose is obviously playing mind games with Xavier Justice and his teammates. You know, this is an interesting matchup. It's a hard match to, to referee for John Bond, our official for this particular match. And it's just going to be interesting to see how these teams work together. You know, it's gonna, I don't know. It's going to be kind of hard because of those two alpha males and their venture quality and Sebastian Rhodes. There's already some distinction between the two of them right now, so I'm not sure what's going to happen. 
All right, we see Xavier Justice in that, got that headlock on Vincent Crowley. And the crowd here in Grand Blank going nuts for Xavier. Absolutely right. Xavier's in firm control. He's off the ropes. Huge tackle. Crawley to the mat. But I tell you, that's going to leave a mark on his back tonight. Uh-oh. He's going for He's got a roll up. Got him in that sunset flip. Oh. oh nearly enough. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we do are going to have to step aside for our first commercial break of the evening. Stay tuned. If anything happens, we'll run the replay for you. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be right back. America's Best Value Inn and Suites features 68 spacious rooms, including our new family suites with two queen beds and a private whirlpool. Complimentary breakfast, heated indoor pool, whirlpool and sauna for relaxing, fun, and enjoyment. Our three conference rooms, great for business meetings, for a quick getaway. And park and fly with Bishop Airport. America's best value in. Offers the amenities you've come to expect at a price you can afford. PPW Mobile App, provided by String Theory Software, Inc. Custom mobile application solutions, easy-to-use software, lets you reach your customers anywhere. Your business, your customers, your hands. Support Michigan business with Michigan-owned String Theory Software, Inc. Come check us out at StringTheorySoftwareInc.com. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday on the CW46. Michigan's number one brand of professional wrestling explodes into your living room. Don't miss all the action this week on Pure Pro Wrestling's Power Half Hour. For more information, visit our website at www.prowrestlingatitsfinest.com. And we're back from break, and you can see Sebastian Rose in firm control of the master of the macabre, Hades. Uh, that's right. Sebastian Rose able to take over along with his team during the commercial break. In comes Vincent Crowley. We'll see how Sebastian and Vincent can work together. That's going to be pretty interesting now. I'm going to see what's going to go on between the two of them. You think they're going to try to outdo each other in this match? Well, you know, that, that, that could be the case. Right now, the, you know, Sophia Black is kind of checking out Sebastian Rose, and Crawley does not like that whatsoever. Oh, oh Hades. Hades ducks the clothesline. He's got him up in the air. He's fighting back. Huge body slam. Oh, man, that, that's going to get a chiropractor moment. Oh, and now Hades has got Xavier Justice in, and it looks like they're going to have a little fun. Oh, they're going down the river. Uh, that's that old school they've done a long time with partners. Oh, yep. There's boy. the old row, row your boat, Ooh. stretching out Crawley the hard way. And now the big deal is going to put his, oh, he just took a double clothesline. Oh, oh, the big deal came in in a little opportune moment, and so did Dazzling Dom. That's that teamwork between the two of them. Well, Hades throwing the big deal out. Xavier slams Dazzling Dominic. Hades going to the top rope. Uh-oh. Here we go. Hades, he's climbing and he's coming down. Oh. <laughs> Devastating headbutt to the lower extremities. Is that enough to eliminate? Oh, nope. No, no, oh, Father Time ruined the big deals weekend earlier. Hades and Xavier Justice just ruined Dazzling Dom and now Justice in control of this match. Well, he's got Dominic in the corner delivering some hard shots. What a huge chop. XJ trying to shoot him off the ropes. Dominic reverses. He's got him up. Ooh. I tell you, that, 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 those are just devastating moves. Well, Dazzling Dominic uses that maneuver time in and time out. Uh, a, a textbook huge face plant there by Dazzling Dominic. And he's got Xavier Justice's leg hooked as he goes and makes a tag to his partner, the big deal, Cody Manning. Now we're going to see what the big deal is going to do with Xavier Justice in this time now, all right? Well, right now, Justice is on Dream Street. He's in trouble as big deal tries to go oh, for that super. Roll out. No, what a reversal. 
Oh, only oh, a yeah, two count. I think, I think Xavier just... Oh, my goodness. That was beautiful. What a drop kick from the big deal. Textbook drop kick, and Xavier is on Dream Street. Picture perfect, if you will. Yes, it was. Picture, that was a Kodak moment. But it wasn't enough to keep XJ down. He's reaching for his corner, oh, trying to make that tag. But guess what? Way. It was the wrong corner. Yeah, you, you know, that's what's going to happen to you. Once you take enough punishment, you lose where you're at. You see three guys in the corner, you go, that's got to be my team. And you go for it. All you see in this image is you just don't even know where you are. Yeah. Well, right now, Xavier knows where he's at. He's stuck in the corner and enemy territory. Dazzling Dominic pounding away at the back of the neck and head. And it looks like he's going for a suplex. No, but Justice is able to make a block again. You know, that's that training and endurance that Justice has. Well, uh -oh. Justice blocked the original suplex attempt, but now it looks like both members of Blue Steel in the ring. Slingshot oh. suplex. Is this enough? That's got to be it. it. That's it. That's it. Two. And no. Kicks Justice kicks out. How did he do oh, that, oh, folks? Oh, my goodness. Wow. Now, the, somehow... Somehow, Xavier Just is able to get lifted back up. He has enough wherewithal to get up. Oh, and Sebastian Rose just kicks him in the ribs. What was that word? Wherewithal? Wherewithal. Wherewithal. Well, Sebastian Rose delivering some hard shots to Justice, and he's in trouble. Remember, folks, it only takes one member of the team to get pinned to end this matchup. Oh. I don't think it's going to be this at this time, though. Sebastian Rose has that reverse chin lock in play. And Xavier Justice really needs to make a tag to his corner. Now the, the life is getting war out of XJ. And folks, I want to remind you, this matchup is brought to you by String Theory Software, Inc., where you can download the free, that's right, free PPW mobile app right now. Just go to the Google Play Store. Also, folks, this match is brought to you by America's Best Value Inn and Suites. And right now, XJ is slowly but surely getting to his feet. They're trying to get the crowd behind him now. Come on, let's get with him, too. No, no, no. Sebastian Rose has brought him back down to the mat. Much to the dismay of the fans here at Grand Lake Academy. You know, I'm wondering if this is, you know, I haven't seen Sebastian Rose in except when uh, Xavier has been down. You know, I haven't really seen Sebastian Rose in the match at all unless somebody's been down. Yeah, well, you know, that, that's smart thinking by the champion. Folks, you just saw the instructions to get that free mobile app right there from Google Play. Make sure you go to Google Play right now, download and get all the up-to-date information about PPW and when they're going to come to a ring near you. Now, folks, you know, we were saying Sebastian Rose really has only been in the ring when he's had an advantage. Ooh. Oh, and he, he just paid for being in the ring there as Xavier Justice fights out of nowhere and hits that huge back suplex. He sure did. That was, that was, that, that was just devastating, that moment. Look, at, look, is Sebastian Rose moving? Now, here's the thing. If Xavier Justice can get on top of Sebastian Rose, pick up a pinfall. If anybody can pick up a pinfall on Sebastian Rose, me. what does that do to his stock here in pure pro wrestling? Well, Father Time's in the ring, and Crawley takes a huge drop to the lower extremities again. That's one of his favorite moves. Ooh, what a nasty clothesline, and Crawley is rolling out. Uh-oh. And he just pulled in Blue Steel the hard ways. Folks, Father Time's fired up, and the fans here at Graham Lake Academy can't be more excited. Oh, a double clothesline. Father Time. You know, I like that, a double knock and knock and knocker. But, oh. you, but I only can hear an echo. Well, here it comes. Oh, runs the two men together. Both Blue Steel members are down on the mat. Crawley's on Dream Street. Father Time is wrecking uh -oh. shop. Uh-oh, Father Time, he turned his back on Crawley. Huge Bulldog takes Father Time down. Crawley taking advantage of Father Time with his back turn. And now Time is down on the mat. Let's see if his team can get back in control. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on here? See, that's what we were talking about. I think we finally found out where Sebastian Rose's mind's been at now. Well, Sebastian Rose has had enough. He's taken the girl and he's leaving town. Oh. And Crawley has something to say about that. Oh, Blue Steel not happy. They're, they're partners. Sophia Black doesn't know what to do. She's she's running off after her men. And now look at she's, she's they've left them all by themselves in the ring. What's going on here? Four oh. on two. That's what's going on here. Blue Steel now have some insurmountable odds to come over. Man, this fit out there. Look at them. This can't be good for Blue Steel. And oh. they're outnumbered, outgunned, and it's Oh, it's only a matter of time. Both men being pounded. You know what? The referee's lost control of this one. He might want to think about just throwing it out. I don't think he should do that. go that far with it. So I think the referee's going to let it go. Uh -oh. And it looks like it's going to end up being a blue steel massacre. Uh, I think that's melted steel now. 
We got Mikey Miller up on the top rope. Justice says it's Miller time. Huge crossbody. He's got the leg hooked. One, two, and three. Academic. Another amazing matchup courtesy of the Power Half Hour. Wow, folks. That was a great matchup there. Uh, eight men who are only looking to be up to the very tippy top of Pure Pro Wrestling. They pick up the win. Now we're going to talk to you a little bit about the Elite Eight 2013. The Elite Eight competitors. The mysterious Obato. Gary the Great. Ace Evans. The Ruler, Nico Glitchclaw. The Mad Dragon, I keep saying. Ridley House Gold. The One Legged Wonder Dash going. Fans, you're in for a treat because we're about to start the 2013 Elite Eight, the most prestigious tournament in the state of Michigan. Folks, it's all on the line tonight. That's right. The Elite Eight, eight men enter, eight stars in pure, pure pro wrestling enter the ring. Four qualifying matches, the winners of each match, go on to the fatal four-way elimination where the winner gets a shot against the Michigan State Heavyweight Champion as of this moment, Sebastian Rose. Now, we do have words from each of our competitors and we're gonna hear from Gary the Freak right now. <laughs> Mysterious Mavado. They call you mysterious. The only thing that I think is a mystery to me, the only thing that's mysterious about you is your language. What does it even mean? Does it? Does it mean anything? Does it translate to English? Do you know what you're saying? Well, strong words from Gary the Freak. Obviously, no love loss for his opponent, the Mysterious Mavado. Father Time, tell us who some of our previous winners of the Elite Eight Tournament are. We've had some great winners from the past. One of them is Grizzly House Jones from the Great White. Then also, we've had Hades. One of our best competitors has been Petey Williams, the Maple Leaf Muscle. And folks, you can see the instructions right there on the bottom of the screen to download the free PPW mobile app on Google Play. You can get it right now. You can get up-to-minute information about PPW and the shows coming to a ring near you. Now, here's the thing about the Elite Eight. 50% of the time, the winner has gone on to win the championship at Retro Slam. You're absolutely right. You see, folks, the, fan, the, the wrestlers here in Pure Pro Wrestling look forward to this tournament just as much as the fans do. Why? Because this is their one shot a year to get a chance at that Michigan State Heavyweight title. And now, folks, we're going to hear some words from Mavada, if you can call him that. Ha-ha! <laughs> Gary Freak! Ooh, we wrestle! Gary Freak! Ooh, we wrestle! Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> and then, whoa, whoa, whoa! You know, I'm not too sure about neither one of them. Gary the Freak, Mavado, and both of them are I. I'm not sure. <laughs> They're both a couple oddballs, that's for sure. Gary the Freak, uh, you know, he, he's quite a bruiser in the ring there, but, uh, you know, look at the guy. He's, he's not exactly orthodox. And we'll see which one of these two men pick up the victory when we come back from commercial break. Each year, Pure Pro Wrestling stars volunteer hundreds of hours to communities all throughout the state of Michigan. PPW's mentoring programs focus on bully prevention and health and nutrition awareness. PPW has also raised thousands of dollars for several schools and nonprofit agencies all throughout the state. For more information on fundraising and PPW's free youth programs, visit us on the World Wide Web at www prowrestlingatitsfinest.com 
Sunday, July 21st, UAW Soberfest. Two huge free events at 1 p.m. and 3.30. The Michigan State Championship is on the line. Zach Gowan locks horns with Sebastian Rose at Retro Slam 5. And man, Durance, seven days, 21 events, the Genesee County Fair. Three events you don't want to miss coming to a ring near you. Drop Productions is your home for pure pro wrestling home videos. Visit HeadDropProductions.com to check out our full catalog of wrestling DVDs, including PPW's Elite 8 2013, Last Rites 4, and much, much more. DVDs are only $15 shipped to the continental United States. If you can't make it live, bring it home with Head Drop Productions. Welcome back from break, folks. We're going to take you right into the action for our first round matchup here in the 2013 Elite Eight between the mysterious Movado and Gary the Freak. One's from Planet Detroit, one's from Planet Fitness, but uh, this is going to be a match, I'll tell you that. I don't know. I mean, both of them are Planet Weird as far as I'm concerned. Well, you may be right about that, Father Time. Thunder Dan Marley, our referee for this matchup, and he's going to have his hands full. And once again, folks, this matchup brought to you by String Theory Software, Inc., and America's Best Value in and Suites. All right, these two men, you know, they're feeling each other out. They're trying to figure out what's the best way to take my opponent down. And here the two bruisers lock up. Well, you know the mysterious Movado is exactly what he says, and that's mysterious because Gary the Freak is a little taken aback by the guy. He was a little reluctant to lock horns. I'm thinking that when they do get a thing going, it's going to be like dynamite in the ring and that this is about ready to go for it, aren't we? Well, right now you're seeing the Movado in firm control with that headlock, and he's squeezing the life out of the Freak. Hey, you know, he's going to try to pop that head like a pimple, and it's going to be a multicolored one at that. Well, the mysterious Movado is well over 300 pounds, so you know the guy is strong. Yeah, strong in which way? Oh, that just showed it, didn't it? A huge tackle, and the freak is down to the mat. Movado is feeling confident. He hits the ropes. Oh, Gary tries to trip him. And uh, Gary lost the mysterious Movado. Oh, he scared him right out of the ring. Gary the Freak definitely didn't anticipate the match starting like this. Yeah. Like we used to say, hey, freaky deaky. Yeah, the Freak is not happy right now. It looks like he may have just had a heart attack. Uh, probably going to have to do some more cardio over there at uh, Planet Fitness. Well, once again, you know, Gary's reluctant to get in the ring, but don't let that fool you. Gary the Freak is as tough as they come. Once he gets you down to the mat, he will pound you and pound you until there's nothing left. But I tell you that Mr. M Movado, he, he's got a way to work in you too. And I think hopefully we're going to see him work on uh, Gary the Freak pretty soon. There he's got that side headlock on. Well, you know, right now a turnabout's fair play. Gary trying a little strategy that Movado did just, to, and then he's got him in the headlock. Oh, oh, Movado got right rid of him. Oh, look at that. The Freak able to take Movado down. Well, I told you he was strong. He just kind of flopped there for a second. Oh, what's he doing to him? Oh, that, that plan backfired. The Freak tried to give uh, uh, Movado a taste of his own medicine. It backfired, and now he eats a buckle. Yeah, don't try to uh, out-magic the magician because he'll catch your trick every time. Oh, huge splash. Movado throwing his weight down, and Freak is on the mat. Is this enough for an elimination? Two. Oh, that was very, very close. Remember, folks, this is the Elite Eight. If Movado beats Gary the Freak, he will move on one step closer to that Michigan State Heavyweight Championship. Oh, missed the elbow drop. That could have been it. But Freak able to get out of the way. And that Michigan State Championship with everybody is buying for in this match tonight. You're absolutely right. The 2013 Elite Eight, that's what it's all about. Once again, these are first round 
And if you get eliminated, you're done. But if you win, you go on to that four-way finale. And the winner of that, of course, will get the opportunity to square off against the current champion, Sebastian Rose. That's right. We have three more qualifying matches coming up for you in the upcoming weeks. You're going to see Ace Evans versus Nico Klitschkoff. You're going to see Chaz Montana versus the Mad Dragon Hakeem Zayn. And you are going to see Grizzly House Jones against the one-legged wonder, Zach Gowan. It's been an epic tournament that Pure Pro Wrestling has put together this year. I personally am very excited about seeing it unfold in the upcoming weeks here in the Power Half Hour. This is going to be one exciting tournament. I've been watching these guys. They've been working hard and training hard and getting beat up pretty hard, too, for this match. <laughs> And you're absolutely right about that, Father Time. Right now, it's the mysterious Movado that's down, taking a licking from Gary the Freak as he ascends to the middle rope. Oh, Gary the Freak going up to the high rent district. We'll see if it pays off. Oh, huge Ooh. splash, and he's going to empty real estate there. I think he, I think he, I think his storage bin is empty, you know that? Ooh, Movado with those left hands. Thunder Dan letting him go. Stinging jabs, and right now, Gary the Freak is on Dream Street. Ooh, finishes him oh, with that jab. And he's down. He's going to count him out. Oh, that was a two. close. That was close. It was about two and three quarters, and right now, Movado, the momentum is back in his, in his favor. Movado's got the Freak back in the corner. Charges in. Oh, oh man, I think that just... Set to shift his rib cage. Father Time, what's it like to have a 300 pounder squash you in the corner like that? So sort of like having a tank run over your foot. <laughs> and now, Gary the Freak trying to get Movado. Nope, reversed. Movado spins him. There's that Detroit DDT. Detroit DDT, is this enough? One, two, three, that's uh, it. That's it right there. Movado has eliminated Gary the Freak in this huge first round matchup and a somersault sent on for his trouble. Going on to going on to, to further and further in this tournament. That's right. Movado has qualified for the four man elimination match. Folks, I want to thank you for tuning in to this week's Power Half Hour. Make sure you tune in next week for more of the 2013 Elite Eight. I am Xavier Justice for Father Time and Matt Burns. We'll see you at ringside.